Hi, I'm Debbie Birch, and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism, and today we're doing something different. Usually we're in our studio, but it was a nice day out, so we decided we're out on location, and we're here at the Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center in Graysonville, and we're going to be talking with Katie Nelson, who's the education coordinator here. So Katie, tell us a little bit about the Environmental Center for anybody who has never been here. And I, I'm, you have thousands of people that come here a year, but there might be some out there. So tell us about this place. We get local people all the time that come in here and say, we've seen the signs, but we've never stopped in. Um, and then we get people from far and wide that do stop in. Right. So there are people out there that haven't been here. We have 510 acres. Um, it's all under easements. It'll be here for the rest of, of time. And it's this lovely preserve that... People can go hiking on four miles of hiking trails, kayaking, and kayak season starts soon. Um, you can come as a school group and come, or a family to go out picnicking. We've got beach, just so many different areas to explore. Yeah, because you are surrounded. You do have water. You're surrounded by water, I guess. It's all like the way around. Island. Yeah, I'm like, we just drove across it. Yeah, a little island. A peninsula so. out here. And I know this time of year, you're gearing up for your summer camps, and that's what we really want to get some information. So tell us about the great. summer camps you do. Great. We're always recruiting for new summer campers, and we have um, a great group of campers that have come for years to our camps. And we have 10 weeks. Um, they are day camps, so they run from 9 to 3. Okay. And we have before care as well for anyone who needs to get off to work early, and then we have after care as well. Um, nice. We try to have it so that, that it's easy for parents to drop off their kids and they can kind of view it as you know d daycare that they'd be sending their kids to. However, they're learning so much while they're right. here, so it's that extra added benefit. Um, we're trying to create the next generation of Chesapeake Bay stewards and teach them along the way, but the best thing, the students and the campers don't even know that they're, they're learning, learning or that yeah, they're in a classroom like, it's environment. It's like when you disguise the vegetables right. and this they is, eat it. Right. This is Same the classroom thing. out here for them. So we're down in the water, we're catching critters, we're learning about our birds of prey, oysters, hiking, making friends all the while, s'mores on Fridays. Nice. And, and some of the um, activities that you do involve getting up close and personal with some of the animals too, don't they? Yes, definitely. So we've got our owls here, but then anything that we see on the trail and snakes and turtles and anything that we can we can learn just these teachable moments when you find things out in the woods wonderful okay so we hinted a little bit that the kids get to get up close and personal with some of the critters around here and katie has just uh brought one of them to us this is a screech owl and he's he lives here at the environmental center and why does he live here so all of the birds that we have here and we have um seven all together they were all injured um, and they cannot go back out on their own in the wild. So they, there's um, permanent injuries to all of our birds. And so we'd make sure that the students know that they are not pets. Um, this little guy, he flew himself into a boat Ugh. and he was found on the boat in the morning and the um, kind owner of that boat took him in and realized that, that he had some permanent, um, he, he's blind or he's mostly blind now. Okay. So we'll take care of him for the rest of his life. He's a cute little thing. And he's so easy to handle and the, the students love him. So. And they eat well and they're taken care of here. Exactly. So, you so know. they're very lucky. The one, you know, there's lots of birds of prey that are injured. Um, most of them aren't lucky and, and don't survive. Right. So these, these guys, although they are in captivity and I'd rather see them out in the wild, um, they're lucky that they survived. Right. And they're great. We call them ambassadors for the students to see these birds up close and personal when they normally would not get that experience. That's that's true because when you see them and you can look at their claws and their their head and their feathers and everything, it's something that sticks with the the kids that are here for the camps. And your camps they start in June. They or start June fifteenth, I believe, is the is the start date. Um, Queen Anne's County extended their school year, but we'll still have that first session. Okay, a lot of private school kids that come or homeschool groups that, that come as well. Um, but then as soon as school's out, we have camps that run every week until school's back in session. And we have two weeks that are even for our four and five-year-olds. Okay. Um, so they go into the school year. The first week that school's back in session, we, we still have a camp for our little guys. Very good. Well, I thank you so much for having us here. I'm just excited that it didn't rain and the sun's out, and especially for having this little guy here to make his TV debut. So thank you so much. If you want more information on the Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center and the programs that they offer in the facility, you can go to their website, which is www.bayrestoration.org. 
find out more events and attractions in Queen Anne's County, go to the tourism website at www.visitqueenanns.com.